Hello everyone. Welcome to this very special Facebook Live. Uh, got my Snowflake Showcase in yesterday. I was going to save it for an unboxing tonight, but mm, no, I couldn't wait. I have just been really uh, wanting to see this suite of products. And so I thought that's what we do tonight. We'll take a look at what all uh, is in the suite and we might even get to make uh, a card so let me show you what i'm talking about there are two stamp sets one is absolutely perfect for uh, christmas and winter and that is snow is glistening to go along with it we have happiness surrounds which will carry you past the holidays it has some nice floral images, uh, but the sentiments are anything but holiday. And they work really well together. There are 14 stamps in each one of the stamp sets. And then there are the dies. There are 20 dies. They're called Snowfall Thinlets dies. And just look at everything you get. Obviously, we have snowflakes to go with our snow is glistening, but we also have floral and leaf images that will go with our happiness surrounds. And this flourish die right here, I think can go either way. Uh, yes, it's got snowflakes in it, but it also has flowers in it. You certainly could do some die cut flowers to place over the snowflakes and use it for your spring cards. So a lot, a lot of versatility with this one. There are also the snowflake trinkets. Let me just bring them up. Hopefully you can see them a little bit better. But these are really pretty. They're silver tone, two different styles. Both of them have a rhinestone in the center for an extra little bit of glimmer. So you've got two designs, you get 10 of each for um, a set of 20. There's one more thing you can get in this suite, and that is some beautiful white velvet paper. I have already cut into mine, but let me bring out a piece for you here because it is just unbelievable here it is and I know you're not going to be able to see the nap on this but it is definitely textured it feels like velvet ribbon and the other thing I like about it is it's a very soft white let me show you what I mean if I bring in one of my die cuts here this is out of Whisper White, and you can see a definite, definite difference between the two. So for those, for those times when you want a much softer, more muted white, this uh, white velvet paper will really come in handy. Now, since I showed you that one die, I love to look at dies right out of the package, but sometimes you don't get a really good feel for what they actually look like. So I went ahead and cut them all out for you. Very pretty. This I cut out of the uh, white velvet paper and you can see it is a more muted white than all of the others which I cut out of a uh, regular whisper white. Hello Karen, I'm glad you found me. Hi Jean. How are you doing tonight? All right, so I cut all those out just to give me a good idea of what they actually look like. And I will tell you, they cut out like a breeze. I did not use my precision base plate. Uh, all I did was I actually ran it through twice and that was all I needed to do. I wouldn't recommend using your dye brush on the delicate looking snowflakes because you could bend um, the arms of them. Some of the arms like the, these are 
pretty narrow. But all I had to do was take my uh, pokey tool for the few items that didn't automatically pop out. Now, I played around with it this afternoon, and I do have a card that I made. Isn't that beautiful? This uses our gold foil note cards and envelopes. And I've been saving them to use for our family holiday cards this year. And when I saw the Christmas tree in Snow is Glistening, I thought, wouldn't that be beautiful heat embossed in gold? So this was a quick one to put together. I heat embossed the tree and the sentiment, tied a cute little bow with our uh, gold metallic edge ribbon, put three of our gold metallic pearls on there, and I did uh, cut out a design panel and mounted it with just a thin, thin border of Blackberry Bliss behind it. I really wanted it to stand up off of the uh, card base. And I just love that Blackberry Bliss. I can't get enough of it. You just ordered yours, Karen? Oh, trust me. As soon as you get it, you'll want to tear into it. That has so much impact, doesn't it? And it went together really, really quickly. Let's take a little bit closer look at the actual stamps. So let me bring out, what can I use here so that you guys can see it? How about this? Ah, that's better. So you've got the Christmas tree and snowflakes galore. Uh, you've got, there, let me turn it this way. The sentiments that you have are sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season, which goes along really well with this stamp set, which is, if I pull that up, maybe you can see it better, um, looks like a little blizzard coming down. And then you have accent snowflakes, joy. You even have a base to your Christmas tree. The one I used on the card was Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. But you also have a for you, which will come in handy for my gift card holders. And then the last sentiment is each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special, just like you. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's take a quick look at the other one here. And then I did bring stuff in so that we could make a card. This stamp set is just as lovely. Look at this big, big image. And you know what? One of the uh, snowflake trinkets would fit really well in there, or one of the snowflake die cuts. Conversely, you could use a floral die cut in there because you've got all of these. You've got two flowers here. You have a leaf image. Beautiful border stamp. That is just going to be lovely. And while this sort of looks like a snowflake, I've decided it can go either way. It can, if you put a, one of the die cuts on there, and let me see if I've got a little one cut out. If you put a die cut in there, it can actually just look like leaves coming off the flowers. The sentiments on this one, it's your day. Here's to new beginnings. I love that one. Surround yourself with happiness. Hello, friend. Sending positive thoughts. Boy, that's a good one that we can use. And congratulations. We always need a great congratulations stamp. All right. What do you say? Should we make a card? I know you want to. So let me just pull all this aside. Now, I split my dies up because if I don't put the dies in with the stamps, <laughs> forget they're there. Yes, I'm getting a little absent-minded of my old age. So all of the ones I thought were snowflake, I put on one magnetic sheet. Those that are specifically floral or leaf, I put on a separate one. And that way, it's very easy for me to store them in their stamp cases with the dies. 
And that way I'll remember to use them. All right, let me show you what I've got planned. I love this snowflake. I love the flourish. I love it all. But this snowflake, mm -hmm, it was talking to me. And I thought, what an impact this could have on a card. You wouldn't need a ton of other embellishments to make a card if you use this. So, self, I said, what DSP might go well with that snowflake? Yep, I went back to my uh, tried and true a DSP that I absolutely uh, love to use. And which one is this, guys? Remind me. Oh my gosh, my mind just went totally blank. It's not Petal Promenade. Oh, Floral Frost or Frosted Floral. But I love the mint macaron with the uh, kind of washed image on the background. And I thought, you know what? Look at that. That's going to go together beautifully. This snowflake I cut out of the uh, velvet, the white velvet. And I will tell you, the white velvet, oh, cuts like a dream. And it seems to be a bit sturdier. Uh, the Whisper White, my arms feel a little wobbly on some of them, maybe where I put a little too much pressure on them when I was um, poking out all the stuff. But this just feels nice, very firm. So we're going to use that. We'll use a Mint Macaron base, sort of. And here's why I say sort of. I, because the snowflake is pretty large, I think it's almost four inches from uh, widest point to widest point. Uh, I wanted there to be enough DSP. So my DSP is cut at, oh, what did I say? Four and an eighth uh, by five and a half, which left just a little bit of border. But I thought, eh, the mint macaron kind of gets lost. So you know me. I go to my scrap pile. And I found two pieces of champagne foil. And watch what happens when I put the champagne foil underneath this DSP. If it will cooperate here. Oh, you get the idea. It really added uh, a nice contrast so that it stands away from the card base. So I really, really like that. And I thought, well... The center of our snowflake is kind of blank. What a perfect spot for our snowflake trinket. And then it had to have some ribbon. So you get the idea. This is what we're going to do. My first step in my uh, champagne foil um, pieces are half an inch by five and a half inches. Oh, Karen, you do the same thing? Yeah, my scrap pile. If I were to bring my scrap bin out, now I've been with Stampin' Up, oh gosh, 18 months? And you would think I would have loads and loads and loads of scraps. I don't, because I use them. I find all sorts of ways to use my scraps. And the reason I think I use them is they sit in a bin right out on top of my uh, crafting space so I can see them. And I will go there to uh, just get ideas sometimes, hold different scraps up against what I think I want to use and see how they work. So I'm pretty proud of the fact that I don't have a ton of scraps. All right, so I have glued down the... Um, Champagne foil. This is going to go right on top. And as you can see, thin, thin, thin border. But it's just the right amount. Before I do that, though, I want to get my ribbon on here. So I'll bring out my snowflake just as a guide to figure out where my ribbon is going to go. So my ribbon... I want to go right about there, and I'll have a sentiment on top of it. And let's see, where are my glue dots? 
I'll just use glue dots to secure it down and figure out where I put them. There they are. And all I do is stick one on either end. They're perfect for ribbon. And then I'm going to carefully, she said, pick up the DSP. And now that I know where I want my ribbon, and try to get it on there straight. So let's see. I think I'm happy with that. Just like that. And I may come back and put one down here, but actually I think my sentiment um, will help hold that down. I'll use just uh, some liquid glue for my snowflake. And I'm not worried about the arms, just putting it on the solid space in back. Make sure I get an even border and I'll bring it up a little bit towards the top like that. Okay. Now this, I think I can either glue it straight down or I can put it up on dimensionals. And you know, I love dimensionals, but because I don't actually have any cardstock behind this, and this is a rather thin DSP, so it doesn't buckle, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it straight down. You certainly could back it with um, some cardstock if you like, and if you wanted to use dimensionals. Okay. Try to get this down evenly on the first try. Almost. That's why we love our liquid glue, right ladies? Hello Paula. Hi Amy. Yes, Amy, I was just being very effusive about how gorgeous the dyes are. To attach my little snowflake trinket, again, I'm going to use a glue dot. Should be plenty strong to hold it. Just put it right behind where that rhinestone is. And then try to position it well. Just like that. Okay, for my sentiment, I used sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. And I just uh, heat embossed it in silver and then stamped, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got little bitty snowflakes all over it. Now, let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see that because um, it's one of the little details, I think, that just makes the stamp set. So let's see here if I can zoom in for you. Come on. There we go. Okay. Can you guys see the snowflakes on there? And I stamped them in mint macaron just stamped it all over and I stamped it <clears throat> excuse me after I had heat embossed and that worked just fine so this I'm going to put on dimensionals to prop it up a bit uh, if you feel like it gets lost against the white ribbon you certainly could either edge it with some mint macaron uh, ink or uh, you could cut a piece of mint macaron to back it mint macaron cardstock oh i didn't get that on there very straight cut off a little here 
That's what I get for talking and not paying attention. I want you to be able to see the dimensional. There we go. And I'm just cutting up and using some of my leftovers here. All right. And I think because this is going to manage to sit right on top of that ribbon, I am going to use a glue dot to hold the center of it down. I don't want it to look like that sentiment is kind of popping all over the place. So we'll just grab a glue dot and stick it down. We love our glue dots, right ladies? And then, pardon me if my head gets in the way, I can take and put on my sentiment. And that is the card. What do you guys think? Isn't it beautiful? Look at how soft that white velvet paper looks. It doesn't, you know how a whisper white sometimes can uh, reflect light? You almost get a little glare on it, depending on uh, how you hold it. No worries with your white velvet. It is always going to remain soft and muted. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad you guys like the card. All right, well, that was what I wanted to show you as far as um, what comes in the suite, what pieces you can order. And I've heard some people say, yes, the dies are a little bit expensive, but I think they don't realize just how many dies that you get and the fact that you can use them with both of the stamp sets. Is there anything else um, I can show you, ladies, about the uh, Snowflake Show? Because I'll be happy to. Jean, you're going to love it. I'm telling you. You are going to love it. Amy, I know you got it. I haven't seen any cards from you yet. Of course, I haven't been on Facebook all afternoon because I was too busy having fun playing with mine. But I look forward to uh, seeing them. So if you haven't ordered it yet, I would get it. As I understand, it is only until supplies last. So, of course, there should be plenty for us demos this month. It won't go on sale to customers until uh, November 1st, I believe. But I know everybody is just going to be making cards and projects uh, out the kazoo with this suite. So I fully anticipate November 1st, customers are going to be climbing all over each other just to get it. So don't run the risk of not ordering it in time. Also, word to the wise, the white velvet paper, I know that's going to go quickly. You get two 12 by 12 sheets, but with some of the larger dies that there are, you're going to use that paper up quickly. So I highly recommend getting at least two packages of it. Okay, well, thanks for joining in for this special Facebook Live. I will be, uh, Annie and I will be visiting our granddaughter Saturday. So we won't be having a Facebook Live then. Um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you Tuesday night. Bye, y'all.